this part was created in a previous version of EdgeCam. If we turn off the fixture display and focus on the actual part itself, you'll notice that looking from the features window, we have the solid representing the part with its features, and then we have a variety of other solids. Those have been collected together, and stock has been created for the cast stock shape, and fixtures for the active work holding. On the setup tab, you'll notice that under insert stock, you have the pick stock command, and under insert fixture, you have pick fixture, and that is how the features window has had the stock and fixture items created using existing solids. Over on the machining ribbon, toolpath's already been built on this part. You'll notice that the sequence begins with the update fixtures command. In workflow, to get to the commands that you may be familiar with from classic EdgeCam, the advanced button gives us access to those, and the miscellaneous menu gives us the update fixtures command. This command is used to add and also to remove fixture items from the part for accurate simulation and for toolpath building as well. Let's begin with the whole cycles. And if I look closely, you'll notice that currently they are machining and moving right through the fixtures because the user didn't consider a clearance plane that was high enough to avoid them. EdgeCam 2014R1 adds the use current fixture option. And so simply with this specified, the current quarter inch clearance plane will be associative to the highest point in the active fixture and stock. All that I have to do is plug in my machine and intent. Notice that now those three pieces of tool path are now modified so that the clearance plane is a quarter inch from the highest point of the fixture and stock combination. Roughing has this ability as well. Although with roughing, we don't have to specify that it's associative to a different value. Simply saying that clearance is associative will do that. I want to point out that the control page also provides check fixturing, where we can input how far away from fixturing tool path should stay, providing the automatic trimming as shown in the graphic image. Because this was built in an older version, currently, if I cancel this, Notice that the roughing cycle, while it actually does avoid the fixture in this case at the center line, it does come below the val below the work height of that, and that's a little close for comfort. All that I have to do is regenerate the machine. And as soon as I do that, the roughing cycle is now modified so that its approach plane is higher by, again, the value specified in clearance, is higher than the highest point of the stock and fixture 